Hello. Well, I'm back today with another reading I'm doing for a friend here on YouTube. Uh, she asked me to ask the cards and see how things are going to be between her and her partner. And I'm using, uh, as I'm always doing lately, um, my Lenormand, my Piatnik Lenormand deck. And uh, I've already made a video about this spread, which is um, which can be used about two people. And I've put out two figures. There's the woman, and there's the man. And this cross is all about the woman, and this cross is all about the man. And um, here's the outcome. So let's see what the cards have to tell us. In the first position, we have what's uh, between you guys at the moment, and that's this card, card number one. And here we have the stork. Well, um, <coughs> the stork shows that there are a lot of changes going on. Um, sorry about my voice, I haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> <coughs> sorry, um, there's a lot of changes going on. And there's, um, maybe you are talking about, you know, having a child in the future. But <coughs> most likely is that uh, you are talk uh, there are a lot of changes going on in your relationship right now. That you have to deal with. Uh -huh. Cut number two shows <coughs> what your part, what the man in the relationship. I don't want to say any names, um, but um, you know what the man is thinking right now about the relationship. And here we have the heart. So, so he really loves you, girl. Uh, he really loves you, he's really happy in this relationship, and he wants this relationship to work. And uh, he's really there, you are everything for him, you are in his heart. He really cares about you, and he's, you should be really happy. <laughs> he's really there, he's loved, he loves you. This card tells us what you think about the relationship. And here we have the mountain. So, uh, from your perspective, you see that there are some problems you have to overcome. Maybe this has to do with the changes that uh, you want to uh, make. Uh, you feel that, the, you know, the, the, that lately things aren't, that working, aren't working uh, really well as they used to. But that's from your perspective, because we see that he's really good, he loves you. And he, you love him too, but you feel that there, these changes need to be made. You feel that there are some things you have to uh, work through. Cut number four shows us our, uh, his, um, what he wants, his wishes, his, uh, his desire towards the relationship. And here we have the book. Well, uh, maybe he feels that you think that there are some things you have to work out. And maybe he f wants you to open up to him, you know, to share with him what's bothering you. Um, maybe uh, he wants something more from this relationship. You know, you know he, maybe he doesn't feel that you trust him with everything. And uh, that's what he wants. Or maybe he wants to open up to you. Card number five shows us what uh, his, uh, what your hopes and wishes are. And here we have the uh, birds. Well, this has to do again with the stork. You want some changes and you want that you connect more. You want that you to... Uh, make more things together and that you communicate more often kind of feels like you uh, you need more of him maybe uh, you don't communicate that much or aren't that uh, aren't together that much as you would like to, to be although he feels really satisfied with the relationship uh, right now you want something more and maybe you want to uh, it's your wish, you know, that you want a child or the relationship to move on. 
the birds are playing together and building their nest. Maybe you want something more from this relationship. Card number six shows us what he offers in the relationship. And that's the cross. Well, some problems are coming from his way, but also, you know, he, he's meant for you. That, uh, he, and he knows that you are meant for him. He feels that your relationship is karmic, uh, so that you are meant to be together. Card number seven shows us what you offered to, to the, what you offer to the relationship. And that's the clever. So you are the secret power, the secret strength behind this relationship. Uh, you offer all that you have to offer, and and you, all your positive energy, and you are um, trying to make this a really happy and good relationship. Card number eight shows us what he really feels, you know, what he's feeling in his heart. And that's the crossroads. He feels that he needs to make a decision. He, needs, he feels that uh, there are some things he needs to think about and make some choices. Uh, and uh, also he wants, you know, to walk the path of life with you. He wants to be with you. And there's, there are some decisions he needs to make. Card number nine shows us what you really feel about him. And there's the flowers. So you love him too. And you you feel really nice and you love the way you are together. You love him. You are really happy that you are together. And... Um, you like making, giving him, giving him gifts, or when he gives you a gift, like maybe a bouquet of flowers, you really like that. Uh, this relationship kind of feels like has brought happiness to you, and uh, made you uh, feel um, whole again. You know that uh, this was missing from your life, and since you are in this relationship you feel complete and really happy about it. You feel that it's a beautiful relationship. That you really like him, you know, he, uh, you really like each other, you find, it, you find each other really attractive. Um, card number 10 shows us uh, what, you know, the basis from his, from his side is, where the relationship is relying there's a writer. He may be um, traveling a lot, maybe with his work, and um, he really uh, wants you two to connect and to get in touch and, uh, you know, um, get together uh, even more and uh, share everything with each other. Your basis, your foundations, are the clouds. So uh, you are a more. I feel you are a more realistic person than he is, and that you have seen that there might have been some problems in the past, and you really want to uh, be this. Uh, you really want this relationship to be. Uh, a sunny relationship, a relationship with no clouds there, with no problems. And you want to, uh, in order to be in a relationship, you want everything, you know, to be worked out, uh, that there are no problems, no no clouds there, and uh, you should each other know each other, you, you sh each other should know everything ab about each other. You want to know everything about him, and you want him to know everything about you, that there are no clouds, that the skies are clear. And lastly, there's the future of the relationship, what will happen. And here we have the lilies. That's a really good thing. Um, there will be a lot of passion, a lot of sex, I might say. And uh, there are a lot of feelings here. You really uh, care about each other, and uh, this relationship is all about feelings and taking care about the, each other. So it's going to be a li really loving relationship between you guys. Um, you 
like being at home, making it comfy, uh, doing things together, being together, just the two of you. And you really like passion and also calmness. So, so you uh, are going to have a really beautiful relationship filled with passion, with emotions, uh, a relationship where you both take care of each other and share things. And uh, you really love each other. The, the feelings are coming from both sides. The thing is that you are more uh, uh, practical, he's more sentimental, and you want to work everything out and make some changes because the stork comes from your side. You know, you may want to make these changes. Uh, you should take it step by step, not push things. He really cares about you, he really loves you, he really likes how you are at the moment. So if you want to make some changes, this might uh, shock him. You know, he, he, he might, you might hear him say, why do this? Aren't we perfectly fine this way? You should explain to him what you want. Uh, and there, you're their girl. This this relationship is perfect, perfect. I mean, you really care about it with each other, and like it seems, it's going to be a really loving relationship. So um, enjoy it, and uh, you know, have fun. Hope you really liked the the reading. Let me know what you think. We'll talk on Facebook too. Uh, sorry about my voice. It's really early in the morning right now, and I promised you the reading. So uh, I didn't have <laughs> coffee yet. I'm going to make some now. Uh, let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the reading, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.